you to imagine that you have no sixth and no first string. So I'm going to call the fifth and second string the outside strings. And I'm going to call strings three and four the inside. Now, the outside strings are going to be played or plucked, we're doing finger style obviously, with your thumb and your middle finger, or M. So it's P for thumb, M for middle. And then the two inside strings will be plucked with your thumb and your index. Therefore, your thumb is responsible for playing strings five and four only. Your thumb never goes up to three, never goes up to two. Your index is responsible for your third string, G, only. It never plays any other string in this pattern. Your middle finger, your M finger, plays string two, and that's it. It doesn't go to string three, it doesn't go to string one. If you memorize that rule, that set of rules, then you'll have an easier time getting through this. Now, what we're going to do is assign two different moves, or four moves. Um, they're really the same move occurring twice. You've got outside, and you've got inside. So what I did was play the fifth and the second string, outside, together, and then the inside, together. But we're going to repeat that twice. So we're going to go outside, inside, outside, inside. Now, we're going to just keep repeating that slowly, using proper technique in the, in the right hand. You're not pulling out on the strings or plucking at them hard. You're just allowing your fingers to follow through. Now, we're going to have our first break or split. Of the index and middle. 